Bradley Manning at the Ocup Occupy Wall Street protest. Pay attention to the ear and you'll see that the overlay matches exactly. If you've been to my website, you know who the actor is that plays Bradley Manning. It's Joshua Federici, as we see here. Also, we've exposed the fact that Adrian Lamo, the person that supposedly was the one who told on Bradley Manning to the FBI and then later was written up in Wired magazine by Jeff Paulson, it's all bunk. It's all a bunch of bull. As Christopher Fowler. Now, let's not forget how Bradley Manning and the whole WikiLeaks thing all ties together, and this person, Julian Assange. Assange, the WikiLeaks founder, is also been identified, and we know is an actor. And he also plays the Norway bomber as well. So, again, we see the tie in to WikiLeaks and Soros being the backer of this entire occupied movement along with all the other investors in Soros's orgs and we'll get into those in another video but let's find out who else was down there at occupied one of the other members of the Chicago 7 was Tom Reardon here we see Tom with his buddy Paul Michael Glacier and of course this would be his brother-in-law, Henry Winkler, and that's Henry Winkler's sister, of course, Paul Michael Glacier's wife, who supposedly died, Elizabeth Glacier, but of course we know that that's Henry Winkler's sister, B. Bob Jacobs, where were you, what were you filming and where were you? I was officer in charge of optical instrumentation at Vandenberg Air Force Base from 1963 to 66. And our job was to photograph with high-speed instrumentation every missile launch from, from, from Vandenberg going down the test range. Ah, uh, save you. This is the Disclosure Project, and these guys are actors. All of them are talking about an alien spaceship coming in, shooting a warhead out of the sky, and talking about how they shut down the nuclear how they shut down the nuclear missile silos without them knowing what, knowing that they were doing it, and the aliens did it. So it's a bunch of crap. But uh, if you remember that this person here is also Richard Katzgar from Pima County Sheriff's Department. And don't forget he also plays the DA in the John Bonnet Ramsey case and a couple other characters as well. So just watch the other parts of this video and you'll see them in detail. I hope by now you're realizing that the world is a much better place than what they've tricked us into believing it was and is. And just to imagine what the world is actually like minus these individuals and their lies. Another lie at that time was the weather underground. This clip is from a portion of the real story of the weathermen underground, but it's nothing but a real lie. As we see the person that is in disguise is now exposed and at occupied Wall Street with the rest of the individuals that were involved in the fake events of that time and that fake political weather underground movement. And who of course could forget the Jessica Watts from APEC that plays the new and improved Gabby Giffords. And we all know that Gabby Giffords doesn't exist as a real person since we proved that by the records in the National Archives and Thomas Registry. So let's move into the more political or end of this lie and see some other individuals that you th I think you'll find uh, most interesting. Remember the person that gave me the nasty look at the Dallas Occupied event that I was photographing down there and I was exposing the week before all the players in this Occupied movement and of course they're tied to Soros. This is his ear. I want you to pay close attention to it. I'm going to be laying another ear over top of it and they match and you'll see exactly who this person is.
Yeah, well, that was Gary Johnson, presidential candidate Gary Johnson. And then I found him, of course, at the Rockefeller's Beach House with his brothers, Jeffrey Katzenberg and Michael Linton and Richard Sexton, who is married to Jennifer Greenberg Sexton. So when you see them all together, and of course, you know, Jeffrey Katzenberg is the CEO of DreamWorks and Michael is the CEO of Sony, and they're all at their relative's beach house David Rockefeller Jr., you know there's a serious situation going on here. This is much larger than we've ever even imagined. And in fact, it goes even further back than we thought. Now Gary Johnson was also down at Occupied Wall Street. He played a role of a police officer down there. Here he is. With interest, I don't... Uh kind of fun this well, you know, if you don't understand exactly what's going on, what they want, it's, it's anarchy. So, I don't know. That's what we do. We're, Wall Street is an interesting concept. Wall Street is Main Street in America. Wall Street is kind of the, the, the spear point for capitalism. We finance things. That's all we do. We take uh, a guy who has a good idea in a garage and wants to turn it into something, turn it into a business. Are you with me? Now? Yeah, yeah. And that's, focus, yeah. that's what we do. That's all we do in Wall Street. We finance companies. And companies are people. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, if you kill Wall Street, there'll be... And I'm sure you remember this punk from 9-11 also from the G20 and of course occupied nobody helped create jobs if you don't get jobs then you're really unemployed so where's Wall Street been for the last 10 years well jobs. you can't look where Wall Street's been for the last 10 years you gotta look where Wall Street's been for the last 200 years and there's 300 million people in this country and as of four years ago the unemployment rate was four and a half percent how can you, you know, it's, it's always... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not your show, monkey. I'm talking to these people. Hold on. I'm not talking to you. Monkey, I'm not talking to you. Hey, sir, you're a public. Sir, you're a public servant. Sir, you're a public servant. Now I want you to pay close attention to this set of ears. It's very important. The one on the right-hand side is the opposite side of the head than the one on the left. So they're not going to be exact. This is just to show you that a, a comparison of both sides of the head, how they're different a little bit. You don't have the same ears on both sides of your head. Every ear is different. So when you look at the one on the left here, I'm going to change the opacity level and you're going to see the ear, the layer on top of it, and you'll be able to see the that only difference this is the same person. is the perspective distortion due to the lens, but it's very slight. As these are almost taken at the same angle, the same point of view, and the subject is pretty much sitting in the same type of position in both. The, this photograph is older than the other photograph so the graininess of the film is causing it to be a blurred edge. You don't have a nice sharp image as you do with this this image. This is done 15 years more recent than the other one so we had much better camera equipment, much better film, much better technology so you can see that the edge of this is much sharp. Plus this is a studio shot of this person and you have a controlled environment with lighting and whatnot. The other one is an outdoor shot. So, But as we go back and forth between the layers, we can clearly see that not only does the ear match, but of course the hair even matches, that this is the same individual. I want you to be very certain with this, because this is very important. This lays the foundation of a lot of things that we're talking about in all these videos. As you'll see, the reason why they're doing this and how they were able to put
pull this off and continue to pull it off. Now here's another set of ears. Just so you're sure of who these people are. The only change that you see in that ear is due to the camera distortion, the lens distortion. That is an identical ear. That is an identical ear. This is Walt Disney. Everyone knows who Walt Disney is. I don't have to go into any detail about that. Now, during World War II, Disney was the company that was producing the propaganda films for the United States. They produced several, and I spoke about those in the section one of this video series. The propaganda arm of our government, in order to spur the American population into fighting a war showed videos that they produced about Nazi Germany and how evil Nazi Germany was. When you see Walt Disney you usually don't think of that aspect of their business or their beginnings but it was a very large part of what they are. Now as a child everyone grows up wanting to go to Disney World or Disneyland and see Mickey Mouse and ride the rides whatnot but for the rest of us that's about as far as we think about Disney now my grandfather fought in World War II he stormed the beach of Normandy he was 20 years in the army and ended up a chief master sergeant he put his life on the line for the freedoms that we have today and so did many of other Americans and their family members many of them lost their lives many Germans lost their lives Many people lost a lot, including their relatives, and their whole worlds were turned upside down, and still are to this day because of the events that happened from World War II. So when you see this person, Walt Disney, and you see the commercials for Disneyland and Disney World on TV, and you're thinking about going out and seeing the new Disney movie, keep this image in your mind. And remember what they are about. They are the ones that created the war in order for them to profit. Companies like IBM, Coca-Cola, all these companies profited immensely, including the Rockefellers. So think about that next time you're going to go spend your hard-earned dollar putting it into this Nazi propaganda machine that continues to this day to produce events that are fake, fictitious, and fill our minds with a bunch of nonsense. These people are still in control, these people are in our government, and these people are causing this world and this government to fall apart in order for them to get their one world government. Their new world order will not win as long as you don't let it win vote with your dollar do not put it in their pocket please remember that you can go to wellaware1.com and you can download the PDF versions of these images and you can see the comparisons for yourself please also remember that we are fully funded by individuals like yourself that believe in what we're doing and want us to continue with what we're doing so please feel free to donate to wellaware1.com you'll see the link at the website at the top and we will continue to bring you more presentations like this. Please remember that you can go to wellaware1.com and you can download the PDF versions of these images and you can see the comparisons for yourself. Please also remember that we are fully funded by individuals like yourself that believe in what we're doing and want us to continue with what we're doing. So. Please feel free to donate to wellaware1.com. You'll see the link at the website at the top, 
and we will continue to bring you more presentations like this.